up back at it again. Uh, so today it looks like it's finally time to pay taxes. And uh, unfortunately I have to owe two hundred and twenty dollars or coins, silver, whatever it might be in uh, taxes already. So before I get there I want to go ahead and pick up a bunch of these berries because during the springtime, summertime these things are phenomenal for just quick cash if you can hit them of course and avoid picking up all the sticks and stuff. I also have a lot of the cooked meat or roasted meat that I've been harvesting all winter uh, that I'm going to sell because it's getting down to 25 conditions so it's getting pretty close to spoiling so why is it not letting me pick them up? but either way I'm going to sell that. Same with some of my uh, meat and gravy as well so I'm just going to pick these berries real fast you'll see that they fetch a fair price the I believe the ripe berries are a little bit better but berries don't ripen until the summertime so these will be the unripe berries uh, you can eat them in the game there's no reason to because it, it can poison you I think it's a 20 percent chance so like one in five odds uh, <laughs> It's not worth it, really, because, I mean, it's pretty e Oh, my. Pick it up. So that's one thing about this game I will say is kind of buggy. Sometimes trying to pick up items. Uh, for some reason, your guy, like, wobbles around like that. You see how he kind of, like, shifts down for no reason whatsoever? That's, like, one of the minor things that the developers need to work on. And I know they're not going to see this. And I could write it on the forum pages and stuff like that and try to give them that feedback. Doesn't mean it's going to change, but it's still an early access game to my knowledge. But it, it runs so much better than a lot of games that are just out there. Alright, so that's the beauty about where I set up my little village at is uh, there's a lot of berries in between my town and their town. Because I believe right here is another patch of them. There's like another patch right up there. And then there should be like one more along this right side of the road, like right, I think it's right there maybe. Yeah, so you see, I can just every day come back and forth, just collect a bunch of berries, and yeah, you see, just berries all over the place. I should be picking up more of them, I really should be. But I don't want to make you guys sit there and watch me pick berries so I'm just going to run back over to town pay my taxes uh, I'm sure you guys probably know how to do that but this is kinda just like one of those things that sometimes people forget how to do or they don't pay attention but it's just ghosts or unighosts right here yep just talk to him here you go that should be everything bam done just like that taxes are paid so now with that, did that increase my dynasty reputation? It might have, just barely. Um, yeah, so I'm still at my limit. Still at camp development. Don't have anybody working for me. What I need to do next is get that dynasty up. I want to complete this quest because, let's see here. Did it say how much dynasty? Okay. Yeah, 50. Um, that will give me a flatbread. Wait for further. Okay, I'm not really worried about that. Um, all right. So we'll just keep doing this. I just need to successfully flirt with somebody. But man, it is hard out here for a player. Yeah, you're too old. You're gonna be married. Um, and do you have a minute? Recently got into hunting. Do you have any tips? Sure, I'll just keep hitting with that one. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think he can come join me. Um. So, oh, let me out. Okay. So I can talk to these three individuals. It looks like. Um, 
So he's a good fisherman. He's just average at everything. And he's a good fisherman. Alright, so I think Solagoth is the one I want to talk to. Um. There we go. Okay, so he doesn't have time for idle chat. I'm gonna keep chatting him up as I go to see if maybe I can swing that man into joining my village, my little camp. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be married too. Plus, I don't want to flirt with a 40 year old. Um, what about you? Are you the younger lady? Uh, yeah, you're too young. Okay. So I don't know where all the women are at that I need to be able to flirt with. Because I think there's one more over there. But she definitely does not like me. I think my approval is at like 45. But I'm going to continue grinding out on this mission. I'll bring you guys back once when I find somebody to flirt with. And we can see what Chapter 4 has in store for us. Alright boys, it's official, so we're going to be Yeah, she's going to be the girl I'm going to continue to flirt with. Yeah, she's too young, uh, but she is suitable. 25, about the same age. Oh, in the game, I'm, I think I'm only like 19. But either way, she's a suitable prospect for me now. Now that I got someone that actually likes me enough. Uh, it's kind of crazy though, there's a random boar that just ran right into this village and now the chapter 4 quest is to build a, build a hunting lodge which I don't even know if I can do okay yeah so I can build up to 8 now so I need to build a hunting lodge and then what else was it hunting lodge, kill some foxes and some boar uh, one of the other things that I recently unlocked too, because I'll take everything back I said about these bows. The bows are not bad. Uh, but, as you can see right there, I now have the ability to kind of track game. Where are you going? Get back over here. Yeah, I need to kill this boar. Oh, he charged. Okay. Yeah, so the bow is actually a little bit stronger than spears. If you can hit the headshots. If not, they are not that great. Uh, so now I just got to continue on through here. Hunt. Oh, yep, so like there's a boar right there. Perfect. Right in the middle of the trail, too. See what I said about hitting those headshots? Took an extra arrow now because of that. Which isn't a bad thing. So that's uh, two boars down. I need one more. And then after that boar, I need to hunt some fox. And unfortunately, I was wanting to do this... Cause I kind of already, oh, I, I was wanting to do this. Oh, there's a fox. Perfect. Uh, I was wanting to do this in the winter time because foxes are so much easier to spot. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what? There we go. I took an arrow to the face, but they're back to the, what I'm trying to say. Our foxes are so much easier to hunt in the winter time. Alright, so that's one fox down. Can I see? Oh, there's an arrow over here. Don't want to waste those. These are very precious. Oh, come on. Alright, well I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me hunt. I'm going to keep going until I finish this quest and then I'll bring you guys back once when I build the hunting lodge. Alright, I lied to you guys, uh, I brought you back a little bit early, but that's because literally this thing is so freaking amazing. When you are able to get the actual, like, visions that you need in order to survive, it's just phenomenal. So let me go ahead and crouch down, and then just whack this guy in the head. 
Yep, one good headshot, two good headshots. Bam. Just like that. You can take fours down like they're nothing. But, so, I'm guessing bears, boars, and wolves all show up as red. And then if, see if I can find one real quick. But rabbits will show up as green. Same with foxes. I'm guessing that's because they'll normally, like, run away from you. Uh, they're more, like, passive, I guess. But rabbits are extremely hard to spot once when the foliage is up. Um, that's why I'm kind of curious to see if I can find one real quick. Only thing you have to do is pay attention to your stamina. So maybe sprint a little bit less when you're trying to use this vision. Yep, like right there. Would have never seen that guy. And then, bam. One shot done, just like that. Gonna have so much fur, meat, and everything like that after this. But I think I'm just going to run back to base for right now. And then uh, just sleep the day away and start bright and early on the hunting shed. And then potentially uh, looking at maybe, I don't know, hiring somebody to come through. Because I really need to start making some money too on top of that. I, I don't really have a good source of income other than uh, firewood and berries. And I've kind of burnt through most of that in the winter time. Uh, oh, well I'm thinking about it too since I'm back here. What I can do is... So nothing's changed here in the town other than I planted the onions and the wheat is growing. Um, let me go ahead and pull out my torch and come back inside here. But the i believe it's in skills yeah so when you get to hunting it's literally going to be the second one that you can unlock and this right here is going to be so much better uh i'm looking at maybe doing maybe that one or i'm kind of debating because i could get another trap which would be nice because that's a good passive way to keep earning meat, furs, feathers, or durability loss. Because, you know, instead of constantly having to make bows, I even know 5% is not that much. Or more arrows, which would help maybe take down bears and stuff like that. Uh, which I haven't forgot. There's still that bear by the mine, and we're going to go there. Probably, I, I might say most of the mining for the winter time, when there's not much else to do. But either way, I'm thinking about doing that. Oh, what's this predator one? Oh, faster moving while sneaking. Yeah, so, and then I don't think I've really done much else other than, yeah, I don't think there's much else I've done. Heck, I don't even have a single point for farming yet. That's how low it is. Um, so we're lost. I'll probably wind up getting this. Anytime I, I start a tree, I always start with this one first, an extra skill point uh, from animal husbandry or uh, crop cultivation, because this will help you earn the other points even faster, which will help your technology go through the roof. Uh, as you can see, my building is slowly getting up there. I'm getting close to that simple house mark. Um, hunting, uh, I finally got the lodge. So I can start doing that. Um, looking at getting the fishing shed. I'm able to do the barn now, make some flour. Let's see, what else was it? Oh, I got my crafting up to smithy level. That means here soon I can start looking at getting iron axes and pickaxes, arrows, sickle, even horseshoes, which will really help me up down the road or hook me up down the road. I really need to get into linen and sewing and stuff like that, but I don't have any money. Uh, I do have some money, but not a lot, and I don't want to go blowing it all right. Actually, you know what? No, I'll save that for right now. I'll, I'll wait because my clothes are doing just fine. Maybe I want to be fancier for the ladies. But, yeah, that's pretty much going to be the uh, – I, I won't say the episode. It's going to be the day. And then we'll get started on the barn. Okay, so it's a new day, second day of spring hunting shed. Um, I'm probably going to put that on the back side over here. So what do I need for it? Uh, so it's in buildings, and I think it's under survival. Yes, six logs. Okay. So one of the other things I kind of did was 
kind of started pulling a little bit of resources. Not a lot. As you can see, there's not a lot in here. There's a little bit. All right, so let me go ahead and dump this stuff off first because I don't really need it. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and just pull. I know it said six, but we're going to need. Yeah, that's going to be too much. Um, yeah, let's pull that for now. Seven logs. And then we'll come back for it. the sti other sticks and logs because we're going to need those. All right. So because my other road splits right here, I'm thinking it's going to be like a two by two in this area. So let's see. Um, tab or not tab. Q building and survival. Now, now after I get this built, the best part is going to be what's obstacles are blocking what well, obstacles okay so I put it right here okay so that's just gonna be too close I wonder if maybe if I oh because I, I really want it right there so it's kind of in line with this other building okay I don't think I have my hammer on me I don't so I need to go pick up my hammer and I'm probably gonna live in this small hut for as long as possible because I like to live by the old saying uh, which is let me think about it for a second oh uh, in order to be rich or wealthy you need to practice poverty when you're young so future advice for any young listeners out there if you practice being poor you'll have more money and with that more money you can do some investing and stuff like that and set yourself up for the future you gotta be able to take risks, uh, but you can't do that if you're spending all your money on dumps. Ooh, what do I need to craft another hammer? Cause this one's not gonna survive. So uh, I need sticks. Okay. So let me go back over here, pull all my sticks and logs out, and craft up another hammer. Yeah. Okay. I am super overweight now. But what I do need to do is craft up a hammer. Awesome. So now I got a hammer. Well, I'm going to have a hammer to replace this one when it breaks after the next three swings. So the question is, should I try and upgrade? Okay, so, oh, so I can't do that. Can't upgrade this. But, there we go. Just going to keep going. So, bam, got the door on here. Yep, hammer already broke. You see, just like that. I knew it was going to happen. That, that's why I went ahead and did this. Um, crapped up one, trying to be proactive. Oh, I'm going to be able to get most of the walls done. That's a good sign. Okay. My guy is extremely tired now. Let me go ahead and get all these logs down. So I need one, two, three. Yeah, three more logs, it looks like. And a bunch of sticks and some straw. Okay. So luckily, there's some trees over here. Yep, I got my axe and a bunch of reeds, which will be used for straw right there. And I, I should be able to find some other ways to get sticks as well. Like those, yeah, I know my guy's tired. I know, dude, it's been a long day. You're already building an entire building, I guess. There we go, yep, I need those sticks. Okay. Get down from there. Yeah. I love that. I love the animation of the logs splitting up. Okay, so I think that's all the... Yeah, I think now all I need is sticks. A lot of them. 
I'll pick up the stone. Cause stone's always useful when my axe or my yeah my stone axe breaks. Um, okay, a decent amount of sticks. Not enough. I know that much. So I'll keep on grabbing these sticks, but I need to grab some reeds too while I'm at it. I think I have some straw in my house, but. I really don't feel like going and grab it. I'd rather just grab it while I'm over here and save that for the next building because obviously I'm going to need a house for whoever I bring into my village to work for me. Well, just live in my village pretty much. Not really work for me. Uh-huh. Okay, that should be enough straw and stuff. So now I just need to get some more sticks. There's a stone. I'll pick up the stone. Um... Not really seeing any more sticks. So let's go back to the hammer and see how we're doing over here. So I'll probably put a road in right here too. Is this? Yeah, this could be picked. Okay. So. Ooh, I, I think I need more sticks too. I definitely don't need more sticks. I forget how. This game really likes sticks. A lot of them too okay so that one has I don't know I might need more straw too so it's eight per roof you know, I should be fine yeah I should be fine for straw and logs oh my guy's exhausted that's why couldn't tell looking up it's because it's so bright yeah let's go Bam, got it. Okay. Perfect. Oh, wait, wait. Did I... I think I got it. Oh, heck yeah. Oh. It's already telling me what to do next. I need to start a farm. Okay. Well, I'm going to do... Or, I'm going to check my traps real quick. Bring you guys with me. Yeah, look at that rabbit trap. Perfect. Got some more meat, some more fur. Alright, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. You guys seen how to pay your taxes. You guys seen how to complete chapter 4. The good hunting area that I was at was over here near uh, Denica. So, most definitely go over there if you're looking for boars and foxes. There's an abundance of boar right here. And you come up here in this area, there's a lot of foxes. So keep that in the back of your mind, and a lot of deer are right here. So if you're looking at building a base camp, I do highly recommend this area. This area is phenomenal for everything. You kind of get a quick access to the mine, even though it's kind of a little ways away. If I remember right, where's the mine at? I think it's I think it's right here, if I remember right. Or no, the mine's all the way down here. But either way, it's a great place to live. But now you guys seen how to pay your taxes, because you always pay your taxes. Don't ever skip out on that. Uh, the IRS will come for you and then how to complete chapter 4 and next episode will be chapter 5 so this is the Manji Mutt and I am